This video is brought to you by Jeff Schultz Painting. 6 Things Everyone Must Do Before Room Painting For those planning to paint their rooms, there are things that must be considered first. Check out our list of tips for painting a room. Learning how to paint a room can be quite stressful. It is, however, an enjoyable and fulfilling experience when the desired results are achieved. To ensure that it will be successfully done, there are important things that must be considered first. Painting the walls of your room is like adding colors to your everyday life. Room painting affects many things, including the tone, mood, and ambience of a certain place, such as your room. Painting really does make a big difference to the vibe of an area, so you'll want to do this right. To those who are first-timers, here are some tips for painting a room. 1. Prepare the room. Preparing the room you want to paint is more than just removing all the furniture and other things that might get in the way. There are other things that need to be done as well. One of which is cleaning the wall. Oftentimes, this step is neglected by many people because dirt and debris on walls are unnoticeable. However, when you paint over dirt and debris, the paint won't adhere well to the walls, leaving you with dirty streaks, bumps, bubbles, and uneven color. You would waste your time, so it is crucial that the walls are cleaned before room painting. Other important tasks that you need to do before painting are filling holes and cracks on the walls, covering the floors and windows with paper, and taping off edges and appliance switches. 2. Test out paint colors. Learning how to paint a room is already not easy, but choosing the best colors for your walls might be a little easier because you can always test out different colors for your room before committing to one. You can buy a small can of paint and try it on a small portion of the wall. Let it dry and observe its appearance with the natural light in the morning and your room's lighting in the evening. See if your color choices work out for you. If you have some money to spare, you might even want to consider testing out many different colors to see which one suits your room best. 3. Choose the best finish. Choosing the type of finish for the walls is also a crucial step in room painting. Different types of finishes have their own pros and cons. To give you an idea about the different finishes, here are some of the common ones. Chalky is one of the most popular choices when it comes to wall finishes. If you want a rustic look for your walls, a chalky finish is among your best options. Matte is also one of the types of finishes that are widely used these days. It gives an unreflective look, which is best for hiding a wall's imperfections. There are already durable types of matte finish paints sold today. Another type of finish you can consider is the eggshell finish. When it dries down, the texture of the wall resembles the surface of an eggshell. This type is more durable and washable when compared to a matte finish. If your wall is perfect and smooth, then you can go for a glossy finish. This type is one of the easiest to clean and one of the most durable types as well. 4. Determine the amount of paint needed. Another thing that must be taken into consideration is the cost to paint a room. Make an estimate of the amount of paint needed for your room by computing the area of the walls. In that way, you will be able to estimate and buy extra paint just in case something unexpected happens. 5. Use a primer. Priming is an important step that must not be skipped. This step helps ensure that the paint you choose will adhere well to your walls. This will also ensure that you achieve the best look for the type of finish you had intended for your walls. 6. Prepare brushes and rollers. Among the most frequently asked questions is, how long does it take to paint a room? Well, that depends on how big the room is and the type of equipment used for painting. The standard equipment used is brushes and rollers. Brushes are used for areas that rollers cannot reach, like edges and corners of walls. Rollers can be used for most parts of the walls. Just a tip, brushing should be done before rolling. In that way, the brush marks are softened and you get a smooth finish. Nowadays, people like to DIY everything. However, there is no guarantee that you'll get the same professional finish when you paint the walls yourself. So, if you need someone to paint your room, Jeff Schultz Painting is among your best options. We provide top quality residential painting services in Sarasota. If you want to know more about our services, feel free to contact us.